Kevin from Whole Fleet Diagnostics. This video, we're going to do a, a machine system scan of a Volvo loader. Uh, the Jol Test software here has the ability to do a, uh, a machine system scan on either Caterpillar or Volvo equipment. Um, the nice thing about this is that we just have to identify and connect the diagnostic uh, adapter. Um, and then basically, the Jol Test system is going to go through and scan to figure out exactly what make, model, and systems are on board um, whichever model of Volvo it is so I'm here in the heavy equipment uh, I'm going to go into the Volvo section and you'll see this big machine system scan button at top here at the top here so you're going to have one of, of three possible connection types so they're going to be the OBD uh, connector or it's going to be the the 509 around uh, or the 201 um, rectangular connector type uh, we're gonna have to specify which one it is now if we go back here and we take a look at Caterpillar um, Caterpillar also has a machine system scan and this machine system scan is going to require either that that um, cat Perkins 9 pin um, or the new cat uh, round uh, adapter here so um, we just have to essentially click machine system scan and then um, and then select the, the type of connection that we have plugged in at the time so if I go back to the Volvo here and I click machine system scan um, there's gonna be some options that come up for one for connector one again there's several connection type options we have to identify first okay are we using the OBD2 connector is this one that has the uh, the um, the rectangular uh, JDC 201 or does this have the round um, the round 509 connector um, in it so whichever one we have hooked up uh, that's the one that we're going to use in this case you know let's go with the um, the rectangular uh, connector here and then all we got to do here is click scan now we have scanning options okay uh, a system scan and read fall codes will bring up all the systems on board and then show us all the fault codes without having to form any sort of official connection to any of the modules. Um, that does take a little more time uh, than it would if we just did a quick system scan, which basically just identifies all the modules on board and then displays them for us. So let's go ahead and do a scan and read fault codes and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see kind of what the process here is of the JAL test software. So one, um, it is scanning for an engine. Uh, so it's going to identify first which engine is on board. So it's shaking hands with that electronic engine control module. Um, it's identified the module and then it's pulled out the fault codes for us. Next is vehicle control unit. Um, now it's got the instrument cluster. It's going after telematics. So we found a telematics module. And you can see as we go through here, um, we're getting uh, uh, not only a uh, a look at what modules are on board but then also which fault codes are um, active or inactive within each of those modules so you can see here there's the engine module I've got three fault codes all of which are active I've got information here so engine oil level oil pressure and then EGR gas temperature faults um, from here without even connecting to this module I can pull up freeze frame data I can pull up information about this fault and then I can pull up the troubleshooting guides uh, for this uh, for this particular fault. So let's take a look first at engine oil pressure. Let's go right into these troubleshooting guides. Now troubleshooting guides do require internet connection um, and it requires a, uh, a, a subscription um, over and above just the software here. Um, but you can see it's, it's got an outline of all the steps. So first, you know, check for other faults. Um, next would be, you know, check the engine oil level, check the oil pump. Um, if the fault's been solved, clear the faults. Uh, next, step three, right, voltage check. Step four, um, shorted. And then, you know, we kind of go through and, and check out our steps here. So I'm just kind of whipping through these things here. Um, but you can see here we've got, you know, information about each of these steps. And in some of these steps, you might find uh, that we have actual specifications listed. So I can't see any particularly in this fault here. Um, but uh, oftentimes we'll have uh, information about the component. So if I go back to uh, component information, you can see your possible fault code causes. The effects of the fault are listed there. And then we've got a link here to our um, oil pressure sensor information. So if I click on information about the component, we'll see there's our pressure sensor um, diagram there is the approximate location of that sensor and then here's some specifications on that sensor itself um, so that's the um, 
that's an oil pressure sensor. And then I've got a link here to the diagram dependent on what version of Volvo um, equipment uh, system this is. So if I click on the diagram button, this is going to take me to that sensor on the wiring diagram. It's going to show me what pins it's connected to on the ECM and uh, highlight that component once it comes up here. So you can see there's the oil pressure sensor. Down here we've got um, a back pressure sensor. Uh, over here we've got a turbocharger speed sensor. So kind of as I hover over these guys, we're going to see different um, you know pictures pop up. And I can go through and double click on any of these and it will bring up information if available of each of those components. Okay, so the, the nice thing about this, uh, this system scan here is that I can take a look at what the faults are before actually going through and connecting to any of these, compo of, of these systems. Okay, so um, if I want to go through and connect to this engine module, I would highlight that module and I'd hit connect. If I want to connect to the vehicle module, highlight that vehicle module, hit connect. Okay. Once I press connect, it's going to take me into this diagnostic dashboard. From here, I can do my bi-directional commands, I can read and clear my fault codes, I can monitor data, I can do my system checks, that kind of thing. So you can see in this particular module, we've got some system checks here for hydraulic systems, shift solenoid, uh, clutch engagement, um, then we've got calibration for transmission. Okay. Uh, if I disconnect there, I go back up to the engine module connect to the engine module and you can see we're going to have a different combination of capabilities in here uh, but we're going to get that same kind of um, basic diagnostic dashboard come up but you can see I've got component actuation system checks parameter adjustments maintenance items such as um, if DPF resets regeneration um, calibration of the EGR valve and and that kind of thing here okay so this is kind of the advantage of that machine system scan which we've got available um, for or the Caterpillar and the Volvo um, brands. Now, um, with other brands, we do have system um, system scan options. I'll show you one of those in a in a different video here. So, uh, if you got any questions about this, you want to see more on on the Volvo or or Caterpillar machine system scan, uh, just leave a comment in in the uh, in in the comments below, um, or give us a call on our one eight six six number, and be happy to provide you with more information.